Hello K-12 International Academy Science students. Today we are going to be doing getting the most energy from wind activity that is found in Unit 8 Lesson 5 of your online school. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the materials that we need. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to carefully cut off the top of this bottle. We are going to lay our pencil across, mark where it hits, and we're going to cut out notches where that pencil hits so that we can simply lay this pencil in the two-liter bottle. Alright, so after you have cut off the top of your bottle and you make your, you place your pencil and you cut in your V's, it's going to be about two centimeters across and two centimeters deep to just a uh, not to hold your pencil. Then you are going to cut your squares and label them A, B, and C. A is going to be 10 centimeters on each side, B is going to be 15 on each side, and then C will be 20 on each side. Once you have those, you can go to the next step, which is to make a cut three and a half centimeters long in square A from each of the four corners to the center but they're not going to go all the way to the center. So measure those out and cut those in each of your squares. Okay, now we have measured from the corner of each square to the center, not going all the way to the center. On A, we have made our measurements three and a half centimeters long from corner to center, and we're gonna cut right along those lines on each of our squares. On B, we did them 5.5 centimeters from corner to center, and then on C, each of the measurements are seven and a half. So we will just cut along each of those me um, measurements that we've made from the corner to the center. Then we are going to fold each of them and tape them so you are going to bring two opposite corners to the center to make blades. You aren't going to fold them, but you will bring the corners to the center and tape those. Okay, so for instance, what I am going to do is I am going to take one corner, I'm going to bring it to the center, not folding it, and I am going to secure it with the tape. So we're gonna bring this corner to the center. I am going to secure it with the tape leaving this corner out, and then I'll get my next, not this corner, but the next corner here, bring it to the center and tape it, like so. So I'll leave this one out, bring this one to the center, and this piece of tape is a little large. Okay, so we'll bring this one, and then our last corner, we will leave that one out and bring this one to the center. You're going to repeat that with your other windmills, bringing every other corner to the center and securing it in the middle with tape so that you have our three different sized windmills. All right, so our next step is to, you tie your washer onto the end of your string, and then you're going to secure it to the pencil. So I'm gonna just tape the end of my string to the pencil. Then you want it to be able to sit in the notches and hang freely from the table. You may want to tape your bottle to the table so that it doesn't move, and you want your pencil to be able to move freely in the notches. You need to tape some over so it doesn't fall out, but you don't want your tape to touch it there. All right, so if this is hanging freely from the table, then what you are going to do is you're going to take your push pin and you are going to secure it Poke it through the middle where you have taped together all of your four corners. 
and secure that to the pencil eraser. You're just going to push it into that pencil eraser. Okay? Then you're going to do your trials. So what you want to do is you just want to be able to blow that. Once it starts turning, you're going to mark how long it takes for your washer to reach the top. So let's try our first trial. Okay, when I tell you to push start, you need an assistant. So we're going to have my lovely assistant, Kai, help us here. When I say start, you're going to push the green start button. Go ahead and practice. And then when I say stop, hit the red stop button. All right, so we're going to reset that. When I say start, you are going to hit start. This wind may hit you. I don't have a fan, so we're going to try a hair dryer with this. So let's see if this works. Okay, so we had a problem with the pencil falling out. So to stop that and still have it um, spin freely, I'm going to put a piece of tape sticky side up on top of this so that it doesn't stick to the pencil. I'm going to tape it down like so. So that just makes it so that the pencil won't fall out of there, but it can still freely turn, we hope. So this piece of tape is sticky side up. Our pencil can still freely turn. Okay, I'm gonna do that same thing over here. Now I'm going to secure our bottle with tape and we're gonna try that again. So I'm just gonna roll these over. So now we've secured the pencil so that it can still spin freely, but it won't lift up out of there. And then we put tape on the bottom of this to secure it to the table. We want to make sure that this still hangs freely. And now we are going to try that again. So let's get it ready. Kyle, when I say start, you will start that. All right, so make sure that it is securely in here so that the push pin is pushed as tight as it can to the eraser, and that will help it to spin up. All right, get ready. Start. Stop. Okay, 119. We're going to write that down. That wasn't a very accurate trial. Be ready to push um, start and stop pretty quickly, okay? Okay. Right now? Push start and stop. Okay, we're going to reset it to its starting position. Is it reset? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to reset. Reset. Yeah. Okay, ready? When I say start. Start. Get ready to push stop. Stop. Alright, this is our first trial with B. Make sure that it is pushed securely to the pencil so that it will spin. We're going to record our three trials with B. Reset. Alright, are you ready? I'm ready. I want to try to get the same distance away so that doesn't change. Start. Stop. Ready? 
sir. Stop. Stop pulling it.